In this video, we're going to talk about all the major and big spoilers that have been revealed directly or indirectly so far regarding the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. So if you're not into spoilers, please click off. Otherwise, get excited and let's begin. The final villain of this movie is indeed Cell, who will go by the name of Cell Max. Now, note that this isn't the resurrected Cell, however a totally new one. He's going to be really big. He'll have a color combination of green, red, and black, and he's going to go berserk in the movie. And Cell Max doesn't have any dialogues or lines. He's just going to scream like Godzilla. The second thing that we have here is Android 21 will be making a very small cameo in the movie which will make her canon after this. Her real name is also going to be revealed in the movie. Beerus and Chilai will meet for the first time in this movie. Beerus' reaction seeing Chilai will be like, oh cute, and Beerus will even offer her to stay on his planet as long as she likes. It will be a hilarious segment. Bulma will make two wishes in this movie. The first one is to firm her ass up a little bit, like literally, and the second is to extend her eyelashes. One wish will be made by someone else. We will reveal more about this later. Goku and Vegeta and Broly will not transform at all in this movie. There will be a scene where Videl FaceTimes Piccolo and requests him to pick up Pan from school because Gohan is busy preparing for his research and Videl has a tournament in her classes. She's a martial arts teacher now, quite a development. Piccolo agrees to do it but he also gets angry. He visits his Gohan at his home and asks him why his research is more important than picking up his daughter. Gohan says that he knew Piccolo would pick her up for her anyway. Piccolo asks Gohan why doesn't he train for once in a while? What if some threat came to Earth? Gohan replies with, if anything happened to Earth, Goku and Vegeta will take care of it. Then Piccolo gets frustrated and hits him, but Gohan blocks it and says, good grief. Piccolo then changes Gohan's outfit similar to his own and says, missed it? It's your old outfit. Gohan says it's heavy and makes it harder to work. Then Piccolo just says he'll pick up Pan and leave. Gohan says he'll buy him more plushies, and then Gohan continues to do his research on insects. Magenta is the one who activates Cell Max, or Ultimate Evil in the movie. To go more in detail, Magenta wants to activate him, but Hito is against it because he's not done finishing brain control. So if activated right now, Cell Max will go berserk. But Magenta activates him anyways. As a result, Cell is big berserker monster in the movie. Gotenks will be fighting Cell in the movie along with others. We've seen first glimpse of Gotenks in the latest trailers only from behind though. Hachimaru's Dr. Hito's B robot will kill someone in the movie. And judging by the color hint, it's most likely Magenta. Piccolo will lose to Gamma 2 in the very first fight they will have. After this, he follows him to the RR base and then the Piccolo infiltration part begins from there. Later, Piccolo will ask Dende to unlock his power, but Dende suggests to do it over the Dragon Balls. And hence, first wish will be made by Piccolo to unlock his full potential, and the rest two wishes made by Bulma. Piccolo's form will be bigger in size as well. The spoiler came that one of these characters will die in the movie. Pics of the Gamas, Hito, Carmine, and Piccolo are shown. Considering the color hit here and the title track number 17, it's him. Now covering some basic details revealed regarding the movie. The runtime of Superhero is 1 hour and 40 minutes. This movie will be released in North America on August 19th. The names of the movie soundtracks are officially out. You can see them on your screen and they do certainly contain some big spoilers. The special screening will be held at June 11 midnight. It's at the same time as opening night so Toei can avoid spoilers or movie details from leaking. Now to give you something exclusive regarding the movie. Goku takes Broly and Chilai and Lemo to Beerus' planet. Beerus is asked why did he bring them here. Goku says so they can avoid Frieza falling in them. Jiren is also mentioned in the movie by Vegeta. He is shown in a very small flashback. Vegeta says to Goku he wants to fight like Jiren. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Vro. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.